Hello and welcome back to Harmful Place. We're a canary running around in the thing. Uh, Please tell me if you find something. I believe Seeker Pentagast was looking for you. Oh, okay. Cool. Let's go talk to him. Hi! Chain him! I want him prepared for travel to the capital for trial. Disregard that and leave us. You walk a dangerous line, Seeker. The breach is stable, but it is still a threat. I will not ignore it. I did everything I could to close the breach. It almost killed me. Yet you live. A convenient result in so far as you're concerned. Have a care, Chancellor. The breach is not the only threat we face. Someone was behind the explosion at the Conclave. Someone most holy did not expect. Perhaps they died with the others, or have allies who yet live. I am a suspect? You, and many others. But not the prisoner. I heard the voices in the temple. The Divine called to him for help. So his survival, that thing on his hand, all a coincidence. Providence. The Maker sent him to us in our darkest hour. Uh... So you've changed your mind about me. I was wrong. Perhaps I still am. I will not, however, pretend you were not exactly what we needed when we needed it. The breach remains, and your mark is still our only hope of closing it. This is not for you to decide. You know what this is, Chancellor. A writ from the Divine, granting us the authority to act. As of this moment, I declare the Inquisition reborn. We will close the breach, we will find those responsible, and we will restore order, with or without your approval. This is the Divine's directive. Rebuild the Inquisition of old. Find those who will stand against the chaos. We aren't ready. We have no leader, no numbers, and now no Chantry support. But we have no choice. We must act now, with you at our side. What is the Inquisition of old, exactly? It preceded the Chantry. People who banded together to restore order in a world gone mad. After, they laid down their banner and formed the Templar Order. But the Templars have lost their way. They really have. Those who can do what must be done united under a single banner once more. You're trying to start a holy war. We are already at war. You are already involved. Its mark is upon you. As to whether the war is holy, that depends on what we discover. What is the Inquisition let's, of old? Let's just exactly. click this again because there was there was a People a conversation option that disappeared again for whatever reason. After they laid down their banner and formed the Templar Order, but the Templar We need those who can do what must be done united under a single banner once more. But aren't you still part of the Chantry? <laughs> is that what you see? The Chantry will take time to find a new Divine, and then it will wait for her direction. But we cannot wait. So many Grand Clerics died at the Conclave. No, we are on our own. Perhaps forever. So this is actually the start of the Protestant movement. In a way, you could say. Cool! If you're truly trying to restore order... That is the plan. Help us fix this, before it's too late. A 
All right, ladies, tell me where to point my sword. Wait, I don't have a sword. My staff. I'll do the thing, with the magic and whatnot. Ooh. I hope you guys are like contacting Alistar and 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 Stan and. All those guys, I need their help, really. Orkren? Everon? That's a Templar order. That is the Templar order. And where are you going? That is Redcliffe? Looks like Redcliffe. That is so the creation of the... <laughs> that is so the creation of the Protestant movement. Oh my god. Like, they're not even trying to hide the, uh, the connection. In case you don't know, Martin Luther actually hit up his, uh, his feces. On, uh, on on what what religion should actually be on the door of the Christian Church Catholic Church which was a big like fuck you back then that was that's what started the Protestant movement so the ruined Protestants but this is like I like that Dragon Age Inquisition all that was intro before the Loco? <laughs> oh, holy crap. Well, Red Remains report Gavin's Chantry. We not stay in Haven. Also, whoa, Haven's Chantry grew just a wee bit. They have not focused all that much on making Haven look like Haven. I have to say, this is a very different Haven. Chosen of Andraste, a blessed hero sent to save us all. Am I riding in on a shining steed? I would have suggested a griffon, but sadly they're extinct. Joke as you will, posturing is necessary. Did you just call me a Grey Warden? I've journeyed deep into the fade in ancient ruins and battlefields to see the dreams of lost civilizations. I've watched as hosts of spirits clash to reenact the bloody past in ancient wars, both famous and forgotten. Every great war has its heroes. I'm just curious what kind you'll be. What do you mean, ruins and battlefield? Any building strong enough to withstand the rigors of time as a history. Every battlefield is steeped in death. Both attract spirits. They press against the veil, weakening the barrier between our worlds. When I dream in such places, I go deep into the Fade. I can find memories no other living being has ever seen. I've never heard of anyone going so far into the Fade. That's extraordinary. Thank you. It's not a common field of study for obvious reasons. Not so flashy as throwing fire or lightning. The thrill of finding remnants of a thousand-year-old dream? I would not trade it for anything. I will stay then. At least until the breach has been closed. Was that in doubt? I am an apostate mage surrounded by Chantry forces, and unlike you, I do not have a divine mark protecting me. Oh, that is Cassandra true. Cassandra has been accommodated. But you understand my caution. Cassandra trusts you. She won't let anyone put you into a circle against your will. Thank you. I appreciate the thought. I don't know Cassandra that, that well, though, so that's... The Templars have the power to seal the breach. It's a loss. Sure, we'll get along just fine. Uh, that's... Off the carry... 
Interesting. <laughs> Look who's back from the dead. Again. I shouldn't be surprised. You oxmen are tough as old leather. I don't recall meeting you before. I'd be surprised if you did. You weren't particularly coherent. Someone had to patch you up after you staggered out of making those wear, though. So, you're welcome. I didn't realize. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you can pay me back by fixing the world. Name's Adan. I'm in charge of keeping our little band here stocked with potions and elixirs. It's not that Seeker Pentagast seems to care whether we've got the supplies to actually do that. How are your people holding up? There's no shortage of work. That's for damn sure. How do I go about having potions made? Just take a look there and tell me what you'd like. Find a recipe for something better, I can make that too. All right. Potion regeneration potion. Research. What research? Oh, I don't have enough elf fruit. Oh, that is. Ooh, I like this. Day two. Pulse normal. Breathing normal. Still un unresponsive. Careful. Drop feed of prep. Elf fruit extract to hasten his. Recovery. A lot of thrashing. Mother's about too many eyes. Something about the grey. Encouraging? Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Where else? Oh. So this came if you're not. Because that was a thing. Like. If you didn't have herbalism, you didn't really have a reason to collect elf fruit in the old game. So, this is good. I now have a reason to do things. Alright. We should go to, uh, to Osama, ask them for help. Does it trouble you? It stops spreading and it doesn't hurt. We take our victories where we can. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time, and Solas believes a second attempt might succeed, provided the Mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. What harm could there be in powering up something we barely understand? Hold on to that sense of humor. May I present Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's forces. Such as they are, we lost many soldiers in the valley, and I fear many more before this is through. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. You're even taller than I'd heard. And of course, you know Sister Liliana. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spymaster. Yes. Tactfully put, Cassandra. Pleased to meet you all. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. <sighs> we need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. That didn't take long. Shouldn't they be busy arguing over who's going to become divine? Some are calling you, a Gunari, 
The Heralds of Andraste. That frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy. And we, heretics, for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options. I want to punch that guy in the face then. For help is currently out of the question. Just how am I the Herald of Andraste? People saw what you did at the temple, how you stopped the breach from growing. They have also heard about the woman seen in the rift when we first found you. They believe that was Andraste. Even if we tried to stop that view from spreading? Which we have not. The point is, everyone is talking about you. It's quite the title, isn't it? How do you feel about that? I'm no herald of anything, particularly not Andraste. <laughs> I'm sure the Chantry would agree. People are desperate for a sign of hope. For some, you're that sign. And to others, a symbol of everything that's gone wrong. Okay. They aren't more concerned about the breach, the real threat. They do know it's a threat. They just don't think we can stop it. The Chantry is telling everyone you'll make it worse. There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. I'll see what she has to say. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. But you're going to end up doing that, probably. Oh, so I can go to Olaid or Ferelden. Uh, known for its culture of extravagant ability, it also has the birthplace of the country. Or is the most powerful human in nation in Fedus. I'll take what I can find. Hungered by Olay, torn by civil war, ravaged by the fifth plight, for it is no stranger to hardship. With the veil weakened, the land is more turbulent than ever. All right, Hindlands. Wait, I want to go up here. Oh. He here. Oh, damn it. Fine. Mother Giselle will have seen the gin lands outside Red Rift and the refugee. But the fighting between renegade timbers and apostate mages. Apostate mages. The la latest reports suggest that a vicious struggle between the two groups has spread to the hinterlands. Catching the refugees and Mother Giselle in the middle is vital to protect her and, if possible, restore the auditory area. Not particular. All right. Hi. You look efficient. That's a nice little bird, though. Got the hinderlands. We avoid the fighting as best we could. It's every bit as bad as we feared. The apostates are mad, attacking anything that moves. And it appears that the Templars here aren't follow anyone's orders any longer. We're located. On the Gisela trying to protect her, but she refuses to leave the ref refugees until we're assured their safety. That would be hard to do without troops to push the apostates and the temples of the area. A medic Colin asked me to make inquiries of Master Dennett, a retired host master of Redcliffe, who lives in the area. We tried to con contact him about obtaining better horses for the Inquisition, but we've been able to get through the fighting. Lead out Harding. You got your party ritual to the hinterlands now. Yes. 
Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching this episode of Fan for Place. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you join next time for more shenanigans. Till then, bye.